Hey guys, this is Parker here. I just wanted to do a quick demo on the differences between the new and the old iWork. Uh, iWork 08 and iWork 09. So here I've, I've purchased, as you guys know if you've seen the uh, iMac unboxing video, that I have iWork 08. Um, so let me just open that right now. And I'm just going to show pages. Um, drive this right by the... So this is the old pages. And um, I'll also open up the new pages. So the immediate difference between the new and the old iWork is the use of core um, core animation or Coco or something like that. It looks really pretty. Now this is the demo. I'm just going to try the demo and I'll purchase it when I go to pick up iLife um, 09. So here's the uh, the different the, the difference is like pretty apparent right off the bat. The old one. This is the template chooser. It's by default, it's on all. Um, and you can choose different things or a certain letter or if you want to make a poster, choose a poster, a newsletter, I don't know, make a report, whatever. I typically go with a blank layout on page, on um, a page layout. So I'll click that and click choose. And uh, sure enough, up pops my page layout. I'll do the same thing for here. Now you notice how uh, much, how nice it looks. If I select all, um, it brings up all of them, but you can see the nice grading effect and um, I can even change the size of these to see more. Now, you notice that it, it was on default right on the blank. It actually wasn't default, it just remembered the last thing I clicked on, which is a very nice thing that it goes right straight to, uh, goes right straight to the last template chooser that I chose. So it remembered where I was. Double click on that, it loads and then just zooms in. That's where the core animation comes into effect. It just kind of, whoop, here we are. Some of the main differences is just the uh, this top part right here. You can see the uh, graphics on this. You can just see really simple differences between the new one has more rounded edges and the new one just different you know graphical touches, different font. The new one has like a shapes built into the shape button and this doesn't. Um, the new one also has like these text things look nicer. The arrows pop out on the new one, and uh, it's just a lot nicer graphically. So here's the old one. I'm gonna choose a shape. Show you the shape. I really I like this shape a lot. It's a cool shape. You can change the curviness of the edge if you want to. And um, I'm gonna do the same thing over here. Select a shape. Now uh, this is the main differences. One of the main reasons why I use pages in, in the page layout is to make these shapes because they're fun and they're great. And I use them for like my websites and stuff, which I guess I'll do a, a video on that. Um, so basically in page layout, we have this, this ugly green color, so I want to change that. Bring up the inspector, come to my graphics um, tab, uh, and let's do gradient fill. So you see my options, if I zoom in here, are none, color fill, gradient fill, image, and tinted image. And gradient is the best, it's awesome. So for this purpose, let's just do orange and uh, red, or salmon, or salmon. <laughs> my, my friend's last name is Salmon. So I always say, hey, Mr. Salmon, ha, 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 ha. He gets old after a while. But anyway, and here's the gradient effect. The problem I had with this, though, is that it was really limited. You can only have two colors, and um, you can only change the angle of the gradient. You can't change the intensity. It's just one gradient effect, and that's it. Same thing. I'm going to add another shape now. have a little arrow. And let's make this a little bit thicker so you can see. Dun, 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 dun. It's nice and thick. Uh, and for these, my options, I can have like a dotted line, a bigger dotted line, and a dashed line, which uh, is easier to see. And then I could have different endpoints, like different arrows, a circle, a diamond, um, you know, all this, all that sort of stuff. Now I'll do the same thing in pages, but sh uh, this is where the differences kick in. Bring in my inspector, go to my graphics tab, and the options, instead of, it, there's an added option called advanced gradient fill. Wow, that's actually pretty cool. I'll select that, and you see I've got this new uh, little window that pops up. Uh, and I'll show you how to do this. Basically, I can have the same you know color change, and I'll do that. Uh, one thing that is new though, and let me make this a little bit smaller so you can see, 
is that I can change the intensity of the gradient effect. So if I want more red, I can still change the angle and all that stuff. But if I want more red than the ugly poo brown gray color, I can, I can change that. I can also change um, how intense or how quickly it does that gradient, that change. So for example, I've got green right up here. I'll pull this arrow right up to the green. And you can see it's just a pretty black and white line, or green red line in this case. Um, and it changes. It's really cool actually how it how it does that. Whee! And it changes the intensity of how of how intense the uh, gradient effect is. I can do the same thing over here. And it's just really cool. Ooh, I could swap them too. Oh, that's cool. So there we go. I could have like that could be my gradient effect. It's not even gradient, but I can do all these. I can just such more robust color options. So I like that. That's cool. This is another thing I can you know swap colors. This is the other thing. Make the fill a radi rad uh, <laughs> radial <laughs> gradient. And oh well, look there we go. You can have all these cool radiant. Gr uh, whatever effects, <laughs> and you know I can say, say you know let's let's make this green color a yellow like the sun, and let's make this blue color or this red color a blue, no bad. Um, oh, that looks really nice. And again, I can change the intensity of the radiance. I can just have just have the sunshine up here, you know, boo -boo. or have it a little bit bigger. Um, you notice I bring this, and I can change the size of the circle. It's really cool. And um, whoa, I just, whoa, that's cool. You can click here and wow, that's awesome. That is so cool. I could have like a little halo around. That is radical, dude. Totally freaking awesome. That is very cool. You can click and you can add an, another edit point. That's really cool. Wow, dude. <laughs> so you can have multiple. That is so cool. Um, so not only can uh, not only can we have different circular effects from this, uh, but we can change, and we can have multiple uh, gradients. That's very cool. Um, now I'll do the same thing. I'll add a little line, make it a little bit bigger for you guys to see. Uh, now the cool things with this is that um, there are all sorts of different line options. We have the dashed, we have the dotted, uh, but we also have like this cool barbed wire effect, which is just sweet and kind of different, oh that's really cool, kind of different paintbrush style effects. And you know that's really cool, if I change this line you can see there isn't much line options but I have a, um, oh my trash just got emptied, I have this picture frame options and you can see the uh, I have this barbed wire kind of picture frame although now that has been moved as a line effect. That's, that's really cool. Um, and as you can see on this one, on the new uh, 09 version, the arrowhead changes with the theme, with the, the type of the line. And in addition to that, we have tons and tons more options, like an open square or, or like a, a, a just a straight up line. And that, that's the difference between see here. Ooh, that's cool. It pastes it. Nice. I like it. So here you can see the difference that... Um, the uh, the new one has a lot more robust set of features and it's a lot more advanced and you can do many more things which is what I like and um, anyway those are the basic differences and uh, that's just about it now oh, I'm recording so hang on a sec alright I just wanted to point out this quick thing um, oops not that one this wallpaper that I made using the new gradient effects so it's really cool um, all of this is in Keynote. This, the Apple, uh, simply apply the uh, these gradient effects I made to the old Apple logo. Now in doing that, go to the graphic thing, include the reflection, insert the text, and in the background, I have a circular gradient effect going from white to black. And you can see how the white I positioned behind the Apple and it kind of lights it up and it glows. So um, it's a really cool effect. I made Pages 2009. It's a very cool application, very cool color and gradients that you can use, and very cool wallpapers that you can make. Anyway, thanks.